Every single week seems to get crazier and crazier in the world of AI, and this week has been no exception. In fact, I think this might be the most breakthrough week in the history of AI and maybe tech itself. You're not gonna wanna miss this. Let's jump right into the video. All right, so just 12 days ago, OpenAI released their O1 model and their O1 Pro model, which was a major breakthrough. I made a whole video on that, talking about how I thought that it could have been AGI, and there's potential to have that AGI. Now, just right now, just a few hours ago, they were released their O3 version. Now, this isn't public yet. They haven't fully released this to the public, but it is absolutely mind-blowing. What is actually more insane about this than ever is that they actually broke, so there's something called the ARC AGI evaluation. So this is uh, something that will, it's sort of like a benchmark for AGI, AGI being artificial general intelligence, which is a huge milestone for AI to reach. And essentially, uh, they provide a score to see how far it's gone. Now, a lot of the models you can see here were doing really well. Well. So like O1 Mini got a 7.8%, O1 Preview got a 13.3%, the O1 Low, Medium, and High were actually scoring really high here, 25, 31, and 32%. So this marker right here was actually a really, really big deal. But what ended up happening is once they released O3, it jumped from O1 Mini to 7.8%, which this just came out, right, a few weeks ago, all the way to 76% with their low model and 88% with their high tune model. This is actually insane. And this is actually leaning more and more towards AGI. I'm gonna make a whole other video on O3. So I don't wanna get too much into the weeds here, but just know that this actually has huge implications for the job market in general, specifically coding. And I'm gonna do a bunch of content on this, on coding. I'm, I'm gonna code with it. And I'm gonna show you why this is such a big deal in some other videos. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe to the channel. You're not gonna to wanna to miss those. Just a few other things to talk about with O3 here. Obviously we just looked at this. Look at their frontier math, their jump here. Here, uh, from, from the previous models, tw from 2.0 to 25.2. We can see the software engineering benchmark from 01 preview to 03 just had a massive jump as well. And you can see that the competition code, obviously huge jumps here. Uh, so yeah, ma major, major advancement here. Again, we'll get into that in another video later on. So uh, some other really cool things happening in the world of AI. So uh, they Google just introduced something called deep research. So this is actually really, really cool. So I'm just going to play this little video for you here. So essentially the way this works is this is actually going to do research for you using AI. So if I want to research a topic or I want really in-depth answers. So in this example, she says, help me research autonomous vehicle sensor trends for my robotics essay, right? So this is a student. So it does a whole research plan for you, puts the research plan together. So here's the website that's going to research. It's going to analyze those results and create a few uh, full report. So it basically goes online and does research for you. This is really, really cool stuff. And at the time it was only available for pro users. So you can see here it analyzes, creates this report for you. Uh, it's a very in-depth report with tons of great information, with charts and everything. Just super cool stuff. And you can export this to Sheets, whatever you need to do. So really, really powerful research tool. And so this is now available uh, in Gemini Advanced. Um, so if you have a subscription, you can now use this right now with Gemini Advanced. So highly recommend if you're doing research to try this out. Uh, I haven't had a chance to test this myself, but from what I've seen online, this is very, very powerful stuff. So moving on, Pika 2 just came out recently. So Pika is, is a video model that has been around for a while now. Uh, but this advancement is actually really, really big. So you can see what they're doing here. They basically have these character elements, right? So when you're doing AI video, typically what you'll do is you'll upload one image and you'll say, hey, make a scene out of this image, or you'll basically do text to video. So I'll come in and I'll say, hey, make me a scene with this. And you'll give descriptions of the video, you know, the camera angles, what you want in the shot, etc. But what's really cool about this is you can actually put together your scene ingredients is what they're calling it, scene ingredients. So you'll upload, uh, you know, these different images. So we have a location a character, a wardrobe, and a prop, and it mixes all of this together to build this shot. So look how cool this is. So it mixed all those characters together with these scene ingredients. You can see it's doing it here as well, and it's creating these AI video scenes. So it makes AI video creation much more functional right? Much more everyday useful, right? So if I'm doing a product shoot, if I want to do a movie scene or something like that, I'm not guessing, right? We don't have to guess the character selection. We don't have to guess what we want from the scene, right? We put these ingredients together and we get this scene. So this is a very, very big deal. I haven't played around with this just yet, but I know that it's free right now. They've made this free for, I believe, four days. So depending on when this video comes out, it might or may not be free at that moment. But if you're interested in using this, definitely check it out. I'll probably make a full video on this in the future as well. So another cool thing I found online, um, so Adobe just released, or this isn't released yet, but essentially they have this new video, um, sorry, audio AI tool. So the input, uh, basically the guy 
you know, you're going to watch in this video, he takes his microphone, he makes a noise, and then he says he wants the text prompt is here a lion roaring. So check this out. So you can see that just the noise he made, and then he said he wanted a lion roaring, it became that. So now he's doing, you know, like cars racing around. So Formula One car racing, revving fast. Let's see what this does. So you can see how with the advancements in AI video and the advancements in AI audio, how this is all coming together to sort of change the way that we consume content. I'm obsessed with this right now. I really think it's a huge deal and I want to keep bringing you these videos. So again, if you like this kind of stuff and you're interested in how AI is affecting content, definitely subscribe as well. I do a ton of content on this. Another really cool thing that came out, if you're an AI coder, this is a massive deal. So GitHub uh, has something called Copilot. So if you've ever used something called VS Code, essentially it's like the best code editor out there right now. And they just integrated. Um, it's actually been integrated for a while that you could use Copilot. Um, and Copilot is basically um, the GitHub version of uh, like Cursor, where you can basically use AI to code. Um, but what's really cool right now is that they've actually released this for free. So anybody can start using this right now for free. And the amazing thing about this is that it actually uses models like 3.5 Sonnet and even 01 and 01 Pro. So you can actually use the latest and greatest, best LLMs, best models right now, AI models for coding directly in VS Code. This is a big deal. I think it's gonna make Cursor a lot less useful and I think it's, people are gonna start gravitating towards this, especially because it's free right now. You don't even need an API key right now. I was actually testing it. You don't even need an API key. So um, if you wanna have access to 3.5 Sonnet and 01 and start coding with those right now, all you have to do is download GitHub Copilot, or I'm sorry, VS Code and install GitHub Copilot and you're good to go. So I will definitely be making a full video on this as well. I'm going to test it out and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, so again, if you if you want to see that, definitely subscribe to the channel. So the other cool thing, again, I just mentioned uh, they're adding 01 to Copilot Pro. So you know, you, you're going to be able to use that as well. So qu quick shout out here to uh, Cocktail Peanut. So this guy is an absolute legend. He developed something called Pinocchio Computer. It's basically a way to run open source models locally on your computer. So obviously if I want to generate AI video, AI audio, I could use stuff like Pika, Runway, Sora, right? Or I could use stuff like Eleven Labs to, to generate my own AI audio. But if you want to run it locally, you don't want to pay for it. You just want to run it on your computer. You can go to Pinocchio.computer. You can download this and you can run a ton of AI open source models. And some of these are really, really good. One of the ones that really caught my eye recently is this uh, audio model. So um, basically what it does is it takes, so it's called um, MM Audio. And basically what it does is it, it reads a video, it watches a video, and then it creates audio for that video. So all you do is basically upload a reference video, it'll then watch the video, and then it'll create audio that it thinks makes sense for that video. And some of this is really good. So like, you'll see here. This one I thought was really good. These geysers exploding, that's awesome. That's really good audio. more just like a weird fantasy type of thing. But again, pretty, pretty good, pretty solid. So very cool. I'm going to show you a really cool example of that in a second as well. The other, actually, I'll just show you that right now and then I'll go to that last piece of news. So, so this is uh, using Google VO2. So that's going to be the last piece of news, Google's new AI video model. But basically, Google just released this insane new video model. It's called VO2. It basically blows Sora and everything else out of the water. I already made a video on that. So if you want to see more about that, check it out on the channel right now. But basically, so this guy, Blizzane, by the way, highly recommend you follow him uh, at Blizzane Blaine Brown. This guy does incredible stuff with AI content. So basically, he used... Google's new VO2 model, he used that same MM audio that I was just talking about right here where it takes it takes your video and it creates audio for it. And then he used F5TTS, which is an open source voice model, again, that you can use using Pinocchio. And he put it all together to make this video. Yeah, I signed up for the Empire thinking, cool armor, elite forces, maybe meet Vader. Ah, they gave me this uh, hunk of garbage. Stuck me with squad 13. Freaking 13. Seriously. I think I'd rather be force choked while being ripped into multiple pieces by a Wookiee on Hoth. So, I mean, by the way, the fact that three AI tools were combined to make this is 
super, super awesome. Imagine the budget it would have made to make this scene, right, in like a real Star Wars movie, the way that was just generated. That would probably cost like over a million dollars. And he just did that probably in the matter of less than an hour using those AI tools, two of them being open source and free that you can run locally on your computer. So we're accelerating very fast here and I definitely wanted to bring this to you. So just to show you the comparison here, again, this is in that video that I mentioned before on VO2, you can check that out on my channel right now. Uh, but basically you can see the difference here. This is VO2, uh, somebody slicing a tomato and this is Sora. So the Sora video, they're, you know, the fingers are getting jumbled up, they're getting cut and then mixed back. So obviously VO2 is way ahead of Sora. Again, definitely watch that video on my channel if you want to see more about this. That's the AI review this week. If you like this video, definitely give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, and please leave a comment below. I would love to hear what you have to say about what's going on in the world of AI.